Hi, and welcome to another Cajun Toy Review. Today we're going to be looking at Marvel Legends, Infinity Saga, Iron Man 3, Happy Hogan, and the Iron Man Mark 21, uh, also known as the Midas Armor. This is a Target exclusive that uh, just recently came out. Um, this is part of the Infinity Saga. I've already re reviewed uh, the only one so far. Uh, looking forward to the rest of them coming out. But um, if you are looking for this one, this one is a Target exclusive. I'll put the link in the description for it. Um, so uh, when I went to get it, uh, I was trying to get it online. It was sold out for a little bit. Uh, I walked into the store. They had about five of them sitting on the shelf. So uh, a couple of boxes were a little bit jacked. This one actually was in the best condition. But uh, I was kind of surprised by the conditions of some of the other ones. Uh, they were pretty squished up a bit. So anyway, um, this I was lukewarm excited about these figures. Uh, you know, I was really excited to get a Happy Hogan figure. Uh, and then the Mark 21, uh, it's it's in the movie for a second. Uh, I've seen it in like the Encyclopedia Guide and everything in the book for uh, Iron Man 3, so I was familiar with it. I would have much preferred uh, a 42 by far. I knew 42 would have been amazing uh, for it. But, uh, you know, it's nice to get a new suit of armor to complete our Iron Man Hall of Armor. Hopefully we'll get one day. But um, So, let's take a look at the package on it. Pretty much the same thing we've seen with Odin with that really nice black back uh, shot with the kind of space of the galaxy going on in the background. Got the Iron Man 3 uh, movie logo there. Avengers in the corner. Uh, we can see our characters. Not much of our accessories. Looks like it's going to come in here. Um, on the side we got our shot that has several different things from uh, the Infinity Saga. On the back we got a poster for Iron Man 3. Not my favorite poster. My favorite poster, um, if you remember, is the one where he's like coming down, he's, he's like on the water, kind of touching down, and like they got the the suits all around them, and his mask. Uh, there's a picture of it right here, you see it? That one, that one is amazing. So um, anyway, a little read up for it. Happy Hogan, Stark Industries' new head of security gets caught in the middle of a battle as Iron Man gears up to face a new powerful threat. And then the read up for the Mark 21. Mark 21, codename Midas, is a fully loaded high altitude silt built by Stark and outfitted with enriched gold titanium alloy. So, not much on there. Um, I don't even know if you can see the Midas on there. I don't think you can. Uh, on top, not much there. We got our Iron Man 3 logo, Happy Hogan, and the Mark 21. You can see on the bottom, I'll we'll have a shot of that in the uh, at the end if you need. So let's go ahead and break it open and check out these figures. Okay, and now we're looking at our Happy Hogan and our Mark 21 Midas armor out of the package. And there is a lot to like here. There's some old and there's some new. Um, it really depends on you as a collector uh, how serious you are. Do you need every single Iron Man suit? Do you want a Happy Hogan figure? You know, now if we had a HasLab Hall of Armors and stuff like that, I'd be really, really excited to get that guy slotted in there. But we don't yet. Yet. So, uh, I don't know. This is... Keep in mind, this is a fifty to fifty-five dollar set. Um, these two figures, with little to no accessories, would be twenty dollars top. So we're paying a ten dollar premium for packaging and whatnot and stuff like that. And um, so that's that's really going to be questions on its worth. So let's take a look at these guys' accessories, and then we're going to look at these figures. And uh, I'll let you know my personal opinion, and I would like to hear your personal opinion in the comments. So let's take a look. So looking at the accessories that come with our figure two pack, uh, and this, like I said, it's not a whole lot. Um, we've seen a lot more in some of these deluxe packs and stuff like that. And you know, um, and I really, honestly, besides some extra hands, maybe uh, I don't really know what else we could have got. So also, if you can think about anything, anything else in the comments, go ahead and let me know. I would like that. Appreciate it. Thank you. So uh, first thing is we got these repulsor blast effects and we've seen these things a million times before in every shade and color. These are like a dark blue, I mean sorry, a light blue. Uh, we've seen them in yellow. We've even seen uh, some frosted ones that, uh, these are actually the same. Um, we've seen them in red, uh, like a dark yellow. Like, so it's it's a common thing and they're nice. I mean, we they've been used for everything, but basically they just kind of pour it into the hand as so. And you got a re really cool repulsor effect. Um, they can also be ported into the feet of the figure as well. And you can get a kind of nice little flying effect and stuff like that. So, um, never complain when we get these. I always wish we get double up though, just so we can have both those effects going on. It's, um, so anyway, um, hands, 
So Iron Man, he's got these really nice hands with these kind of guards on it. Uh, we've seen these hands before, these exact hands with the Mark VII uh, that came out with the first 10 years. But uh, it's it's just a solid kind of bronze, well, sorry, like a, uh, it's, it's gold, but it's more of like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not shiny gold. So, um, I don't know, it's like a caramel gold or some, uh, some spicy mustard. Uh, and that's kind of one of my things about this. When you look at screenshots for this figure, uh, a lot of the pictures, but it's super shiny gold and we get like a nice caramel color going on. Um, his other hands are basically the same kind of repulsor effects we've seen before. This is also uh, we've seen with the other Mark Seven. Now this doesn't really have a good hinge, a hinge on there, like the uh, so you couldn't like when I was posing it, I wanted to put it on happy shoulder, and uh, you couldn't do that because this is a hinge at all. So that was a little bit of a bummer. But they're used basically for one thing, and that's for uh, that effect. Now happy comes with one little accessory. And it's a little tiny cell phone, and uh, it's not even straight. If you look at it, it's uh, it's got like a bend in it. And I don't know if it's from I had Happy holding it already, that it bended like that. But um, and I have it upside down. But yeah, it's a little tiny phone. You can see like a little button on it and everything. Uh, it's got the red and green button for uh, answer or decline. And um, it's got a little tiny bit of writing on there but you cannot read that i tried looking at it it's so small um you're not gonna read that but you can kind of see the little button right there uh, there's no camera but anything on the back there's actually a four printed in on there so um but this thing is t tiny tiny i mean just to show you and compare it to the hand yeah this thing is super small and super thin if you sneeze <laughs> or not or walk away for a second this thing is secure good luck this thing can is gone with the wind so uh that's the force the accessories that we get with our two pack so let's go ahead and look at those figures so here's looking at our happy hogan figure and uh first thing is i want to talk about the face the face sculpt on this guy and um i'm a big john fabrio fan ever since swingers his uh pretty much his debut movie and it's a good likeness of him. Uh, I, I wish he would have maybe got a different face, like, like sorry, an alternate head with a different expression. Because he's just got, and I know he's kind of a, played, portrayed as a kind of a grumpy character, and that's uh, and, and that's what he's supposed to be and stuff like that. And they, they nailed that look. But I would like to see maybe an angry, or I don't know, maybe even a smiling one. Something like that. But um, I know his role was considered a more serious kind of guy and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, it... It's not the best likeness that they've done, but it's really good. Um, just really depending on the angle you're looking at him and stuff like that. Um, like straight on, a lot more so. But um, anyway, if, you, if you're not familiar with John Fav Favreau, uh, before talking about Happy Hogan, like he basically directed the first two Iron Man movies. He's kind of responsible for kind of a big part for getting kind of the MCU kind of rolling. Um, and uh, he made a solid Iron Man movie. He uh he kind of stepped out because of all the stuff they were doing where they like kind of expanded and adding all the characters and stuff like he just kind of wanted to do his solo thing. But he's made so many other films um, that are fantastic. And if his early stuff was was really cool because it was, it was swingers like made. I used to watch all that kind of stuff and it was really kind of co cool to see where he came from. And uh you know with, between uh the first two Iron Man, which a lot of people don't like, the, first, the second Iron Man has grown on me over time. I used to dislike it. Um, but it's not a bad movie. It's, 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 there's a lot worse things out there. Um, but, uh, anyway, I would say about Fario. He did a movie called Raging Bull. Uh, real tangent, real quick. There's a picture of it right there. That's it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a really cool role for him. He was swole as hell. So, uh, it was kind of weird as a fan watching him over time. You know, he got older, he got uh, heavier, which we all, you know, most of us do. Um, but anyway, um, like I said, good likeness. Not their best, um, but really good. Uh, overall so I give it a, you know on but they can, they have done a lot better uh, so I, I give it about a middle of the road about a seven for uh, likeness so we're looking at this new body this is all new body um, it is a heavier figure now he he is kind of a, a bigger guy but um, you know they don't portray him really as as fat he's more of a solid uh, just a solid guy and um, so 
this whole new body is kind of nice. If you want a kind of comparison to like some another body, here's him with his boy Tony. You can automatically really see the difference right there. There is a much difference in that girth and size. So they nailed it on that. Um, excited to kind of see like who else they can kind of do with this body. Um, I'll kind of have to brainstorm and think, but I know there's other people out there. Put in the comments who you else think you could do with this body uh, really well. But um, anyway, so yeah, new suit. Uh, these are all new arm arms, I think, on here. Um, but yeah, this is all new. He's got like a little pocket on there, new tie, stuff. Now looking at the figure when he's just kind of in there, he has almost no neck when his head's kind of down, so it looks kind of awkward. But uh, just kind of give him a little up, and it's a lot better. But in the box, I was kind of like, ooh, no neck. But yeah, nice suit. Um, the legs and the arms are sh slightly shinier. Than the sh uh, the jacket, and the jacket on certain angles you can kind of see um, the arms through right there. You can see like the white through underneath it, which uh, since it's supposed to be a suit, but it looks like a big stone cold vest sometimes. <laughs> um, the legs and everything are really nice on it. It's all like I said, all new legs. There's a lot of really cool bagginess in this, like I mean, uh, with the lines in it. Um, See, kind of wrinkled down here. And there's some little imperfections in the plastic and the paint I see online, uh, like right here. And right here, the paint's kind of actually kind of sl a little sloppy and choppy right there, if you can see. Um, yeah, and it kind of repeats right here too. I get that little, if you can see that right there. Little imperfections on the paint. But like I said, the wrinkles on are really, really cool. They look really, really nice. Uh, details on the shoes with the, the laces and everything and stuff like that and I like how they're more rounded uh, shoes than like the little pointy shoes like uh, Tony has and stuff like that so like, again nice new bo to have a new body uh, but it's 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 a suit it's a man in the suit uh, it's not meant to have a million colors and different things on it and stuff like that so what they what they were trying to accomplish they nailed it with that um, you know it looks like Happy Hogan uh, look at his articulation so happy can look up a decent bit he's got his neck is on a uh, since it is a newer figure yeah it's on that that T joint so um, uh, looking down not so much um, he does have full arm rotation there is a bicep swivel he does have double jointed elbows with pins got wrist rotation and there is a wrist flex uh, I think he has new hands as well they're not trigger hands and stuff like that this hands a little bit tighter uh, it's used to hold that itty itty bitty cell phone and it would have been cool if there would have been like a little spot where you could have fit it in the pocket or something like that that would have been neat uh, it's really thin it wouldn't be hard but anyway um, app crunch you can a little bit the jacket's gonna limit that of course and oops that much yeah so didn't look for lost change um does have a waist swivel can sweat about that much kick about that high he does have a thigh cut he has double jointed knees but they look really bad that gap is is, is really ugly um But it's a pinless joint on there. But those knees look really, really weird when you when you bend them and stuff like that. So uh, almost like a transformer. Uh, once again, like I love these 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 uh, the bottom of these pants with the wrinkles. But there's no cut. There's no uh, rotation right there. Uh, he does have an ankle pivot, and there's peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Uh, his feet are bigger than. No, everything's bigger uh, but his feet are bigger than like I said the previous like chameleon and Tony Stark figure which you have kind of gotten the smaller feet so I I've had no trouble standing this guy up um, when I kind of got to set him out the box so anyway that is happy Hogan what is your thoughts on this guy you know um, is this worth half the purchase right here um, 
I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. You know, uh, I'm happy he's in my collection. He's really, really cool in the Iron Man uh, display I have kind of set up when I do pictures and stuff like that. So anyway, let's move it on. Hey, so looking at our Mark 21 Iron Man, um, the Midas. So this is a solid suit. Like um, this is like really one out of the, one of the better Iron Man figures that we had from Marvel Legends. There's just a lot of detail in this guy, uh, with like the shoulders that come up, all the stuff on the back, uh, just all, all this detail. Uh, I love the kind of like the gears looking in the, uh, the back in the knees, uh, in the front, and of course in the elbows and stuff, and just a lot of detail in the shoulders and st everything. Like I said, one of the more solid Iron Man figures, but. Uh, we've already gotten this one, like I said before. So, um, this really depends, you know, on you wanting that happy figure and wanting to complete your Iron Man's, uh, how much value you're going to get out of this. Now, it does look like it's one solid color of gold, and it should be much brighter, uh, looking at the other versions, again. But it is two-tone. There is different shades of gold in there, and some are much more vibrant and bright. It just depends on the material. So, uh, like the face is a lighter brighter gold uh, we get it kind of on the arms coming down here uh, on the legs especially and the guards but mainly on this chest around the arc reactor it's got this really really shiny and uh, I like that it's it's got different shades of gold uh, I just wish those shades of gold were brighter um, so overall, I mean, there's not a, a whole, whole lot of paint to talk about in there. It's just, you know, just different two tones in there. So it, it kind of goes from this darker to lighter, um, lighter, darker, stuff like that. So I'm not going to go through the whole body and talk and do that. But the grays do help a lot uh, with the gun metals in there and the knees, of course, on the back. Uh, I wish they had a little bit something underneath, underneath here. Uh, that would be cool, but we don't, or like, the spine would have looked really cool like that. Uh, you know, just when looking at, like, all the different colors that they had on the, uh, the previous one, it just makes you wish this, this, this figure can look so awesome. So, uh, looking at this articulation on the Mark 21, he can't look up much at all. Uh, he can look down a little bit, which is not surprising for an Iron Man figure. Um, I wish you could look up a lot further on this guy, but with that, the neck so high, um, that doesn't happen. So you're not going to get any really good flying poses out of this figure. You, uh, got full arm rotation. You just got to watch this shoulder pad will come up and get in the way. Uh, it shouldn't pop off. It is glued on there, but just be careful because you will put wear on that little, uh, part that's attached already. Um. They do have a double jointed elbow, but with the, sh the arm guard and everything else and stuff like that, your range will be limited on how much you get. Uh, the bicep cut is there. It is big and bulky with this arm, so that also will have limited range on it for you. Now there is flex on the uh, the wrist on the fisted hand. But like I showed on the repulsor hand, unfortunately there is not. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that is a bummer. A little bit of ab crunch. Not much. Uh, we do have a little bit of rock we can do. Waist rotation uh, is non-existent. Uh, he can kick out about that far. Nah, I'm not doing no splits with him with these little circle gears, gyro, whatever, servos. They're not going to block that a lot. And uh, that's just going to rub. So um, there is a thigh cut, and it's not too bad. It's just uh, going out for a turn pose. But when you if you try to turn it in, which, why would you want to? You're not gonna really get any range on that. Uh, double jointed knees, and they don't look too bad with the gray 
um, in the knee pad. It's nothing like with it doesn't look nothing like Happy's did. Uh, but this, like I said, this is a little bit older figure too. Um, we do not have calf rotations on this figure as well. Uh, we do have a bit of an ankle pivot that is also going to be hindered a bit by the um, the leg stabilizers or the cat. And he does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet uh, with little boost effects. So overall, um, like I said, it is a solid figure. It really depends, you know. Um, it's hard for me, in my personal humble opinion, to say that this is truly worth it. And I'm a hardcore collector, uh, just because it's it's. I paid fifty five for this. Um, I feel like this set should have been forty four max. Uh, the lack of accessories, um, one new figure, and then a repaint. Now, I'll say it's on blue in the face. Give us the Mark forty two, the gold and red one, Iron Man three. Would have jumped on that thing so fast, but they didn't. So anyway, um, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Uh, these two figures and stuff like that. Uh, will you be picking it up? Yay, nay. Um, <laughs> he's doing the uh, Travolta. Um, I'm I'm not over, I'm not upset that I got it or anything like that. Uh, you know, I, I wanted these figures and I'm glad I did and I really was excited to talk about them. Um, I just think that. At this point, it's, it's Infinity Saga. Every figure that we pretty much got in the last infi uh, Infinity Set within the t 10 years was something new and something really unique. Um, you know, and this one so far, uh, Odin's, Odin's killed it. Uh, these two have been meh. So I'm really excited to get the, uh, Captain Marvel and, uh, and Rescue her next. So I'm hoping they're going to blow it away. So anyway, uh, if you guys watched it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, leave comments stuff like that leave a like if you like the video uh, check out the other comments and always always thank you so much for watching um, I'll check you guys in the next video take care of yourself